Hey everybody, uh, back again. Now, I came across uh, this uh, clown here on Facebook, and it was it was pretty funny. Uh, I mean, there's a long, long, long argument uh, about uh, you know gun show laws and you know uh, background checks and shit, and this this argument all stemmed from a video that like it, it's a movie and it takes place in like 1982 or something like that uh, it, it's a little hazy but it, it, it takes place in the early 80s and the guy goes to a gun show with his kid and they buy these uh, firearms uh, pay the guy cash and walk out and this guy here he's like uh, uh, listen to what they said this wasn't a private transaction this man has an FFL he is a dealer license he has a dealer license and has a has to run background checks the only time you don't have to run background checks is if you sell a firearm to a friend acquaintance or family member and there's a only a limited number of states and many states have mandata mandated universal background checks and that doesn't apply to dealers licensed gun dealers uh, have to run background checks every time period if my mother or sister doesn't feel safe I shouldn't have to go through a background check to let them borrow a gun and waiting periods have killed so many uh, and it's uh, this, the, the guy's an idiot uh, He's applying current gun laws to a scene from a movie in the early 80s. Now, people need to understand is this. 1993, the Brady Handgun Violence Prevention Act, this law is what gave uh, gun shows the requirement to do background checks on people. See, the Brady Act, this, from the ATF, uh, if you are a gun dealer and you're at a gun show, you have to perform background checks for everyone that buys a firearm. This was only put in place in 1993, but then it was changed in, I think it was, uh, what was it, uh, 94 it was changed, and then back in 98 it changed again. It, it, it was an ever-evolving law. But here's the thing. In, in the 80s, you could walk into a gun show like this, all these people, you could walk into a gun show like this, tell a person that, yeah, I can, I, I'm not a criminal. You fill out your, your name, your address, uh, date of birth, and you, you, you fill out a, a little like postcard of info for the gun dealers records okay I sold to, I sold to Tommy Tittlefinger you know on this day I sold him this firearm that way it goes to their records you could go to a gun show like this and just buy anything and be good it wasn't until the 90s where every sale every last sale had to go through you know, background checks. Current laws, current laws. Uh, uh, the FFL, uh, they, they show their FFL to the venue. They uh, bring uh, certain firearms that they want to sell or highlight or whatever to the gun show. They have a list they have a whole, a whole list of every firearm they have along with their serial numbers and their you know their documents and those uh, documents uh, are held by an off 
officer in, in some states like our state an officer is there and they know which firearms you've brought in and then what you do is every time you make a sale you do your background check it you go to your list and you go okay this firearm this serial number was sold to this person this is the background check number because you get you get a number for, for your records and that number goes on this on, on the list and at the end of the gun show when everything's said and done with the officers can look at it and go okay you sold this 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 didn't sell this one you sold this one and this one and every one of them has a has a record of being uh, of, of a background check being run and that's how it is today that's how it is today back in the 80s you could walk in you just give somebody your, your name and, and your address and, and away you go you didn't have to jump through hoops that that guy has no clue what's going on he thinks he he honestly says that though these laws have been in place uh, forever and this and that and it's like no they haven't no they haven't uh, and, and then he brings up the gun show loophole there is no gun show loophole no you can't be like well you know I, I this and that no uh, gun shows are now you know run where only FFLs can sell firearms now uh, if it is a swap meet like an indoor swap meet then it's a person-to-person -person transfer because it's people selling their shit to other people indoor swap meets completely different story uh, yard sales completely different story it's person to person don't have to worry about this or that uh, a gun show a gun show an actual gun show is regulated highly 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 regulated but if you hold uh, a indoor swap meet outdoor swap meet a farmers market uh, a garage sale yard sale it's not regulated because it's peer-to-peer -peer. it's person to person you're not doing you know a federally licensed person to a citizen the, there are huge differences uh, what people think is a gun show loophole is oh you go to the gun show you meet somebody the su that person wants to sell a gun you want to buy a gun and you go into the parking lot and you and you you know swap it's like okay that only happens if it's person to person uh, basically if if Joe Citizen goes to a gun show and he's he's got a firearm and he wants to sell it to a dealer, but none of the dealers want to offer him what he's asking. But John something wants to buy a firearm, but everything is at like out of his price range. And then they meet up and they go, okay, yeah, I. Joe somebody and John something they they get to talking and then they they leave the, the the event they go out into public property and they make the the a sale outside that is peer to peer it has nothing to do with an FFL now if one of them has an FFL then legally they would have to you know do the background checks and if it is not a, a personal firearm if it is a business firearm or it's owned by the FFL, then it has to go through a background check. If it if it's just like a person's personal firearm, something they bought for, for themselves, they don't have to go through a background check ever. Now, some some states act, enacted stupid laws where you know every gun sale, even person to person, it, it you know it's bullshit, but. You could go to a gun show like this in the 80s and just buy anything you want and you don't have to do anything uh, unless you're buying a pistol then you got to show that you were you know of age but you know long guns anybody you know could really buy them 
it, it's ridiculous that you know there are people out there that think that every gun show was always the exact same with all the same laws across the board you know forever uh, gun shows uh, there are there are so few gun shows and it, it, it's really sad like I wish there was more gun shows and more events like this because events like this bring communities together uh, you know and you know I'd love to see more swap meets where people have you know firearms knives you know axes you know like big collections of stuff it'd be so much better but uh, yeah I mean there is no gun show loophole uh, and that guy's an idiot because he doesn't know the laws plain and simple